All right, Adam, we've got your quad package here, and I just want to show you some of the features and highlights of it, as well as give you a little introduction to how the switches work on your transmitter and features and functions. Uh, I put my GoPro in the gimbal there for you that way, uh, just so for demonstration purposes, you can kind of see what's going on. And then, of course, we have the FPV uh, monitor kit right there, and I'll go into detail about that. So let's look at each uh, individual item here real okay, quick. I'd like to start off with your transmitter here and tell you a few of the features and functions of uh, the switches and what you can expect. So currently right now, the way I have this set up is your, your green switch right here is your flight mode. So in the back position here, uh, okay, the zero position, that's default to GPS. So that's how I have that set up. In position one, that will be your attitude mode. And then of course, in your uh, position two there, that's gonna be your manual mode for manual flight. So I just leave it in GPS mode to start out and uh, it's a good position to start from. Um, and then of course, the black switch right back here, um, which would be technically your gear switch. Okay, this one is your retracts. So hitting this, flicking this forward will uh, retract your landing gear. And let's move over here and take a quick look at your mix button. Let me get it to focus here. Uh, I've coded the color coded this one in red. So regardless of which flight mode that you're in here, whether it be GPS, attitude, or manual mode, whichever one of those three, flicking this switch right here will put you into return to home fail safe. So flicking that forward, it'll come home and land where it started and turn off the motors for you. Your auxiliary three, that knob right there, turning that will adjust the gimbal tilt angle on your quad. So you can do that uh, while you're flying around or before you take off and get that all squared away ahead of time. Uh, and like I say, to start your motors, when you are out there and you're ready to go, and I'll show you this in the flight video, pushing them both into the bottom inner corner there will start your motors. And then we'll go ahead and turn this on for you. Okay, you can see I've got it set up here for you in uh, airplane mode or acro mode. I've got your timer set to where when you give it throttle, after you push it up past 25%, your timer is going to start. And when you bring it back down, it'll stop. And that feature is there just so, and I set it at 8 minutes, it's a good time frame, just to kind of be a reminder for, uh, for time's sake while you're out there. So that's kind of it. This is your menu uh, roller bar, if you will, and you push that in, you can access the different features of the menu. But like I say, I have it currently set up with all the values necessary to, to control the quad with the NASA flight controller. So you won't need to change any features in here. And try not to push any of the trim buttons or anything like that. Because if you do, the NASA might require you to recalibrate your transmitter sticks up here in the uh, software assistant. Which is not that hard to do, but it's not necessary if we just leave these where they're at and leave all the settings the same and you're good to go. We have your fat shark goggles, and this is your circular polarized antenna right here. Now this will just screw onto that right there, and you want to make sure before you turn these on, it's always a good practice to just go ahead and have your antennas attached. Now your goggles will function as a video source as well, so you can video out to these goggles, uh, which would be this switch right here. When you flick this switch, it'll allow you to use these as a monitor rather than use the receiver built in there. You want to keep that in mind. Currently, it's set up to use the receiver on here, so you'll receive your image in here. Over here, you have where your battery plugs in. Now, this battery just sits in this little pouch that is kind of built into the strap there, and that plugs in. Now, when you do your video out from here to like your monitor, for example, it's going to plug directly in the cord that you need will plug directly into this port, and then we'll go into the video source of the uh, monitor, which I'll show you here in just a little bit. Uh, but anyway, so that's where that plugs in. You want to have your antenna attached, and then you will automatically receive your image in here. You have uh, brightness and contrast adjustments up there, as well as your headphone volume there, which your headphones will plug in right over here. And then, of course, right here, you'll plug in to um, this would be like to do. Um, head tracking if this thing had head tracking built in, but otherwise it's just a serial port for you. 
Okay, so that's the goggles, and that's that's how you're you're gonna set those up. Now when you want to show you the tilt feature of the GoPro. So what I did is I turned that on, and then you always want to make sure and turn your transmitter on first, and then your quad. So now we'll go ahead and plug in the quad real quick. Okay, I just plugged that in right there. Now you'll watch this gimbal. It adjusted itself right into place like it should. And you can see the LED blinking up there. Now I have your voltage protection set up for a four cell battery, but I'm doing this test with a three cell battery. So that red blinking light, it thinks that the battery is actually low when it's not. So in this case, that's what that is in case you're wondering. Uh, so what we're going to do here is you'll see here on the transmitter, let me move this over so that way we can see. I'm going to grab the knob right up here, as you can see, and it's very responsive. Okay, so clockwise is down, counterclockwise is rotating up. When you hear that chirp, that means that it's that it will hold. It will hold its position whichever way you have it uh, tilted at. So that's kind of that's kind of how that works there. Uh, for your tilt function on your right down here at your receiver. Um, this is your receiver right here for your DX8 and then your LED unit here and also where you plug into the computer is located, oh, excuse me, right here. So your LED will flash out of here and you'll see that um, when you plug in the quad. And then of course right down here you've got auxiliary 3, 2, 1 and then gear, rudder, elevator, aileron, throttle and then your blind port. Uh, currently your um, currently, right now, your retracts, they're programmed to uh, your auxiliary 2. Your auxiliary 3 is your tilt knob function for your gimbal on your controller. And your auxiliary 1 is currently being used, uh, I've got it hooked up to the NASA, so that way in case you wanted to uh, adjust your gains or something and switch that over to the knob feature on your DX8 in, in the settings, um, that's already set up for you, so that way you have that. Thing I'd like to mention on the the NASA compass, you want to make sure that if this is the front of the quad, you want to make sure that this little arrow right here is pointing directly forward. If it's not, it can cause the quad to fly erratically or even probably crash. So you want to make sure, especially if you're flying in GPS mode, that your GPS compass is put on there correctly. And as far as pointing the direct, the right. Look at the the back here. What we have is this cable right here is for your video transmitter, and then you just plug a separate battery into that, which I'll include for you. You'll find it in the box, and you can mount that anywhere you want to. I usually mount it down here next to the video transmitter, but that way it'll save you that radio frequency noise. If you run it off your main battery, you'll get a little inter interference. So that's why I'm going to include the little battery for you. This is your main battery connector cable for the quad. And then of course we have your video equipment mounted right underneath here. And then your antenna. And you always want to make sure that you, that you have this antenna attached to that video transmitter down there before you apply power to it. If you apply power to it without this antenna, it will burn it out and render it useless. Okay, let's take a look at your FPV monitor pack. We've got that set up right here. And um, it's a soft pack, so um, how we have this set up is we'll take a look inside. We've got the cables for the power sitting right in here with your 3S battery. So what we'll do is plug that in right down here. So I've got this set up here. So this is the lead for the monitor. And then this is your battery. Of course, you'll just plug that in. Now this will give you, this is a 2200 milliamp 3S battery, and this will give you a couple hours of video time pretty awesome. Plenty of time out in the field. So uh, let me go and plug those in and I'll show you how that works. Down in there I've got those plugged in. That's tucked away nice and neat. Lid all closed up there. Uh, she's ready to go. She's portable. You got yourself a really cool little FPV bag. So I'd like to say I've got it plugged in. So I'll hold this down for just a second. See if I can keep the bag from scooting on me here when I push the button. There you go.
All right, we got your got the screen there. We've got your volume keys right here. Got a menu button right there, which that'll allow you to adjust the different features there. And then some other settings. You can switch between actual video one and video two input, which is nice. Now there is a screen protector on the screen, which you peel off. That's why you see that right there and fingerprints and stuff. So you'll peel that little piece of plastic off. Um, but now I'll show you here uh, how this would look with the FPV goggles hooked up. Hey, this is so cool. The way we have this set up here is, I'll just get it to focus for me. Focus. All right. Okay, so we have the AV cable in here and your wires there. And this goes to the Fat Shark. This Fat Shark cable is just plugged in right where I mentioned earlier, and this is on. So what we're seeing on the screen is exactly what you see in the goggles right now. Now, I don't have the GoPro on at this moment. That way the screen will stay dark and I can show you the features of this. But what's neat is I'll grab the quad and I'll move it around. And as you can see, its orientation there changes as well as the information on the screen, which is pretty cool. So that's your on-screen display, video out from your goggles to your monitor. All right, the only thing left now is to go out and see how she flies. All right, we're out here, Adam. We're gonna do a quick flight test. We've got your transmitter on here, and then we're gonna go ahead and plug in the quad. Now, it's kind of windy out here, so we're not get, gonna get too crazy with the flight test, because uh, I just wanna be safe here. As you can see, it's looking for our satellites. Now that's a manual mode. So when we switch this up here, there we go, to GPS, we got the green and then red. So once that goes all the way green, just green and that's it. We'll take off real quick. We'll see how she flies. Okay, looks like it's just green. All right, like I say, it's pretty windy, so we're fighting against that wind a little bit. We're just basically doing a hover test. Retracts. Awesome. Woo! We'll put those retracts back down just in case. That's the wind affecting it a little bit. This is just a hover test for you. So we could see that. All right. We'll see those retracts one more time. Now they don't both go up at the exact same speed. That's okay. Um, you just and they and they can actually be done as you can see there while they're in the middle of being retracted. So yeah, let's go ahead and put those back down. All right, like I say, this has just been a quick hover test. It's super windy today, so we just want to be careful. All right, landed on a little bit of a hill there. Like I say, that was a hover test for you and a retract test. That way you could see them work in action. Thanks a lot.